Plate and frame heat exchangers consist of a series of plates held together with a frame. Each plate is the boundary where heat transfer occurs between hot and cold fluids. The spaces between plates are called channels, and there are two utility fluid channels for every product channel. This is the minimum configuration for a pass, although a typical pass has many more channels. A gasket is used between each channel to hold utility or product flow in that channel. In order to keep fluid spread out across the plates, the plate surface is corrugated into a V-shaped pattern. The V-shaped stamp is alternated between plates facing each other to enhance mixing in the channel flow. Special plates called end or transition plates with unique gaskets and blocked ports direct overall product and utility flow in a pass. These plates are used at the end of a pass or next to the frame. Looking at flow in this one pass configuration, utility flow moves through an inlet and through every other channel before it exits the heat exchanger. Product flow does the same except in the opposite direction. The hot and cold fluids typically run in counter current directions to maximize heat transfer. Although the heat exchanger shown is in a one pass setup, plate and frame heat exchangers can also be configured in two or multi pass arrangements. Plate heat exchangers are known for their low cost, small footprint, and ease of reconfiguration.